Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to set up remote access for your true NAS scale. We're going to be using for this example a uh, tail scale to connect to connect it remotely. Now why would you use tail scale for this? Depending on your ISP, you might have something that is called CGNAT. Basically having a CGNAT carrier grade NAT, it's not going to allow you to open ports in your router. So how to bypass that, we'd be using the third party application called Tailscale for this. So the good thing about Tailscale, for personal use, it's free. You can connect literally over up to 100 devices. You can do a lot of stuff. There's also for enterprise, premium, starter, if you want to use this for something else. But basically, it's free. And you can download it for basically Mac, ISO, Windows, Linux, Android, and different distros they are available at, at the moment. So let's just go ahead and get started for this. For this example, I have my true NAS scale installed on a virtual machine running right now. This is right now the true NAS scale. It's already configured with an SMB drive. So as of now, this this server is directly accessible by the IP address 192.168.86.234. That's great. Now what we're gonna do here is basically we're going to add it here. We're gonna see all the machines. This one that I had here was a previous test. Let's remove that. So we're basically gonna add this server here with a new IP address and we're going to access it through that IP address. Right now on the on this machine that I'm recording right now, it's the game station V2. So it needs to be on the same telnet for it to be act to for it to access the server. So in this case, let's just go ahead and start the installation right now. So from your true NAS, you're just gonna go to apps, go to the little three dots, I mean three lines. From here go to apps your check available apps. Now just type your tail scale. From here we're just gonna install. For those do, that do not have set up a pool, it will tell you here that you need to create a pool before you install it. So in my case I already have all that part done. Now let's just go ahead and install it from here. Now everything else you can leave it default, you can change some stuff if you want. But in here, the only thing that we need to add here is authorization key. So here, what we need to do is go back to the admin console of your tail scale, go to settings, and from settings, you're gonna go personal settings and go to keys. From here, you're gonna generate a key, an alt key. Give it a description so you basically don't forget what's the name of it. Keep it simple. Uh, true NAS. Everything else you can leave it default. Now just generate the key. Now here's the key. Just copy that. Done. And paste it here. And now to access the server, we need to click on this here, host network. Click that. And install. Guess it, it get that a few seconds. It's deploying. Now from here, we should see a new machine pop up. And there it is, true NAS scale. It already has an IP address. That's perfect. Now from here, we just gonna go ahead and left click, copy the IP. Let's open a new tab, paste the IP, enter it. That's okay, continue to site. And there you have it. You basically now have access to your true NAS scale remotely by any computer that's connected. So let's just log in. Oops. There we go, we are logged in. Now you can also, since you already have an S if you have an SMB driver already set up, you can also access it as well. So let's just go ahead and find it. In this case, open your file explorer. Click here, backslash, put the IP of the true NAS uh, tail scale. 
enter. And there it is. If you do this the first time, it might ask you for the username and the password of the true NAS for you to access it. So right now I'm basically connected to it. I already have it set up so you can just basically add, drag and drop anything they want. You can do it like this or you can also connect to it by using the local IP address which would be 192.168.86.2.2.2. There it is. Okay, guys. Well, that was basically it. I hope you guys. Uh, I hope everybody has found this educational, pretty easy, uh, simple steps. If anybody, if anybody does have any issues with it, please leave a comment below. I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And bef and before I end this video. Uh, I made this video due to a comment that was made a few hours ago and decided to make a video about it. So I'm going to be putting that on right here to the right to the person that commented if I could make, if you can make a true NAS uh, remote access for this. So thank you for the suggestion. And as always, guys, like, subscribe. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.